Hello everyone, today we will explain about trespass. Trespass Trespass consists of an intentional or negligent act which directly causes harm or injury to land, goods, or person. Of important feature of trespass is that it is actionable per se, which means that the plaintiff in trespass is not required to prove that he has suffered damage. Then, an action can be successfully broke although no damage had been caused. Classes of trespass Trespass to land An intentional act which directly interferes with enjoyment of land in the possession of another causes damage to the land, whether by taking it, destroying it, or bearing the owner's access to it. A person is liable for trespass to land if he first enter on the land in possession of another without consent of the other. Second, unlawfully remain on the land after permission for him to enter his terminate. Third, enter on the land with the consent of the other but break the condition on which the consent has been granted. What? directly causes physical matter to come into contact with the land but in order to sue a plenty must have possession of land trespass to goods consists of a deliberate or negligent conduct that directly interferes with the goods that another person has in their possession trespassing on goods includes both vandalizing private property and try it on a dress without the owner's consent. Even if no force was applied and no damage to the items occurred, trespasser may still be held liable. Trespass liability may occur from moving another person's property or even by merely touching it. Next is trespass to person. Trespass to person have three which is Assault, battery, and false imprisonment. The first one is assault. Assault is a crime and a tort. It is arises if the defendant intentionally or negligently does an act which directly the plaintiff to apprehend immediate contact with his person. For example, pointing a gun at a person and threatening to shoot him. There is no requirement that actual physical violence result. In the case RV Island 1997, uh, the defendant silent telephone calls to the victim in dealing with the issue of silent as an assault. The House of Lords tackle the issue of fraud as an assault. The next one is battery. Liability for battery may be incurred when person does an intentional or negligent act which directly causes physical contact with the person of the another. Unlike assault, there must be actual physical contact before there can be liability for battery. For example, beating up a person and stroking her hair without her consent. There are four point tests to determine liability. Directness, intentional act, bodily contact and consent. The last one is false imprisonment. The unlawful restraint of someone which affects the person's freedom of movement. Both the trait of being physically restrained and actually being physically restrained are false imprisonment. If someone wrongfully prevents someone else from leaving a room, a vehicle or a building when that person wants to leave, this is a false imprisonment. It is a tort of strict liability and the plaintiff has not to prove fault on the part of the defendant. Defense of trespass Next is consent in trespass on goods. If the elegant trespasser was given consent by the plaintiff to enter his land or use his chattel, then the trespass was legal. Consent can be manifested by words or actions or it may be manifested by silence or inaction where the reasonable person would speak if he objected to these actions. Superior lawful authority Certain party who have the right to use force when an invasion occurs. Usually, this power is for public security purpose. Example, the landowner can use force to evict intruders from the area. Inevitable accident Unavoidable mistake or accident A form of defense 
for defendant under tort law. No responsibility to the plaintiff with the condition accident or mistake occur, unintentional accident normalized. Prescription A property owner loses his right to his land when someone else sit on the land without disturbing him for a maximum of two years. The land owner cannot be evicted if there is no disturbance or encroachment. A person who has encroached on another person's land continuously for an uninterrupted period of not less than 20 years shall be then to have the right to occupy said land. Thank you for watching. Bye.